Start by selecting the Type Tool, T, from the left toolbar. Now type three letters of your choice, one by one, and place each on a separate layer. For this tutorial, you can choose a bold modern font, which I've linked in the description below for you to download. This gives you more flexibility when arranging the layout and applying effects individually to each letter. Next, pick the ellipse tool, U, and draw a perfect circle by holding down the shift key while dragging. Once the circle is created, right click on the shape layer and choose rasterize layer. Now press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the circle layer. Double-click the duplicated circle to open the layer style panel and choose Color Overlay to change its color. For example, red. Press Ctrl plus T and scale this red circle down slightly. This will serve as a cutout for the main circle. Now go back to the black circle layer. Hold down Ctrl and click on the red circle's thumbnail to make a selection. Then press the Delete key to cut that part from the black circle. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect and delete the red circle layer. Now you have a ring-like shape. Select the Rectangular Marquee Tool, M, and make a selection across a portion of the circle that you want to remove. Press Delete and then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Duplicate this modified shape by pressing Ctrl plus J, then use Ctrl plus T. Right-click and choose Rotate 180 degrees and drag it downward to form a symmetrical shape. Select both of these semicircles and press Ctrl plus T again. Hold Alt while scaling them down slightly to get a cleaner look. Use the Rectangular Marquee tool again to remove any unnecessary parts by selecting and deleting them. Repeat for both upper and lower halves. Use the Rectangle tool to draw a shape overlapping your first letter. For example, draw it over the letter R. Now choose the Pen Tool P to create a custom area that cuts into the letter. Once drawn, right-click and choose Make Selection. Rasterize both the letter R layer and the shape layer. Then select both and press the Delete key to cut through the letter, creating a stylized look. Don't forget to delete the shape layer once the cut is complete. Repeat a similar process for the remaining letters. For example, draw a rectangle that overlaps letters C and L to merge them visually.
Use the rectangular marquee tool again to make another selection and delete a part of the C layer. Rasterize and make your edits precisely. Create a new layer and draw another rectangle to extend the C or merge other elements. Once done, rasterize the extended C layer. Now it's time to finalize your logo. Remove the background layer completely so your logo is transparent. Select the topmost layer and press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to merge all visible layers into one. Press Ctrl plus C to copy this merged version. Open the mockup PSD file linked in the description. Double click the smart object layer to open it in a new tab. Press Ctrl plus V to paste your logo into this file. Hide the background layer. Then save and close the Smart Object tab. Your custom designed logo will now automatically appear in the mock up scene, ready for presentation or client work. And just like that, you've created a stunning professional logo in Photoshop using only basic tools. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel Photoshop Pixel 5 for more awesome design tutorials every week. Download the font and mock-up files from the description below and try this yourself. Comment if you get stuck anywhere. I always reply to help you out.